So let's face it, you're always looking for some kind of a side business you can do to earn a little bit more cash. And so the most recent idea that you've had is you're going to try to start making alligator patties. You figure the timing is right, everybody wants uh, new and interesting kinds of food products, let's make alligator patties. So what you do is you start doing some research and you figure out that your alligator meat that you can get is going to be a certain amount of water, protein, and fat and that you, by buying it in bulk you can get it for about $6.55 a pound. When you look at that you go, hmm, with $15 a pound what I can sell it for, it'd be nice if I could imp improve my profit margin a little bit. So you find out also that you can obtain just plain alligator fat. And you're thinking, maybe I could mix some of that in with my patties and reduce the cost of making these patties. So you figure out some things about that. You can get the 92% fat, 8% water version of it for uh, 20 cents a pound. And you're going to add enough of that fat so that the percentage of fat in the patties goes to 11%. What you'd like to do is figure out how much can that save you in cost. Okay, So this is what we're going to do. Uh, to figure out that savings, we basically need to look at one pound and look at the cost difference by making it this way versus the 655 that it would cost you to make it the way that uh, it would just naturally without mixing the fat in. So we're going to do a little diagram here. We always do these diagrams. Uh, I definitely think you should always do one of these diagrams because it helps you get all of your givens uh, all down in a way that they are easy to understand. What I'm saying here is we're going to say one pound of patties produced. That way everything we come up with is going to be based on that one pound. Okay, And for that one pound of patties that we're going to produce, uh, we know something about it. We know that the fat percentage is going to be uh, 11%. Okay, So we're going to put that in at 0.11 as the fat content. That's 11%. Okay, We actually don't know any more about this uh, amount of each of the or percentage of each of the components that are going to be in that uh, stream and so I'm going to label A for protein and I'm going to label 1 minus A minus 11 percent and that is the remaining material which is just water. Okay, So that takes care of that stream. What else do we have here? Well, uh, we're going to be adding this fat stream. Okay, This is the added fat, and I'm going to give that the variable of y. What do we know about that? Well, it is 0% protein, so that's nice. One of those elements goes away. Uh, but we will have 92% fat. And we will have the remaining portion uh, is going to be water. Okay, and we're not going to deal with the prices just yet. We'll do that in the next step, but we're going to look at uh, what we need to do to make these patties uh, the way that uh, that we would like to. All right. Next, we're going to look at the alligator meat that we have to add, and we're going to say the mass of that alligator meat is going to be X, and we also know the composition like in terms of percentages, and so we're putting this at uh, let's see, 21.2% protein, uh, for fat we have 4.2%, uh, and then we would have the remaining portion is going to be water, which is 74.6%. Okay, And often at this point it's a good idea to look at your system and say can we even solve this system. It's always good if you have the right number of equations for the number of unknowns. How many equations will we have for this system? Well it's going to be the same as the number of different types of material we have going into the mixture. So we have three different equations that we can write because we have three different types of material. Uh, and we have three variables. We have x, y, and a. 
So it looks like we should be able to solve this problem. Um, we might even be able to do better than a 3 by 3 though if we can identify the right equations to solve first. And uh, as I look at this, what helps is if you can identify equations that will eliminate uh, one of your unknowns. And when I look at this, um, if we look at an overall equation, so let me actually write this overall, what we'll notice there is that uh, we won't need to take into account this a variable if we write the overall equation. Instead, what we're going to have is we're going to have x plus y is going to equal one pound. Okay, so that's actually a fairly simple equation. Um, the next one to look at is the fat portion. Okay, if you look at that, we know the fat portion that we want in that output stream. It's 11%, which means that we will not have the variable A show up in this equation either. And so uh, we write this fat balance as x times 0 0.042 Plus, how much fat do we have in this other stream? Well, we have 92%. And this is going to be equal to the amount of output, which is one pound, times the amount of fat, which is 0 0.11. And what you find here is that with just these two equations, we have figured out how much of the original meat material and then how much fat we need to solve this problem. So all we need to do at this point is punch these into a solver and many of your calculators will have a two by two solver built in. So I'm gonna use this one in the Casio calculator. One, one, I'm putting in the coefficients for this first equation over here and then one. Okay, that's not too hard. And then the next one is 0.042. We have 0.92. And then we have over on the right side, 0.11 times one. And when I hit equals, what I get for X is 0.9225. Okay, X is equal to 0 0.9225 units. Well, this is going to be in pounds. Y is going to be equal to 0 0.0774. Okay, now this gives us how much uh, how much weight we have for the original meat and then for the added uh, fat stream that we are going to have that isn't all fat but it's that's how much we need of that fat water mixture. What we need to do is figure out cost savings. So let's do this. Let's figure out how much does it cost to produce a pound of patties uh, this way. Okay, And so what that looks like is this, uh, we are going to have this amount, 0.9225 pounds, and the cost for that was $6.55 a pound. And to this, we are going to add, um, we're going to have 0 0.0774 pounds of this times, here we only have 20 cents per pound. So when we add these up, we will have 0 0.9, let's see here. 1.9225 times 6.55 plus 
0.0774 times 0.2. Okay. And this tells us then that the cost per pound is going to be uh, $6.057. per pound. I guess I don't need the per pound on there because that's assumed that we're doing this per pound. Okay. Well, what's the cost savings then? Cost savings is going to be whatever it cost us originally, which is 655 minus this new cost. And if we plug these into the calculator, 655 minus the previous answer gives us a 49.2 cent cost savings per pound. And so we would answer with the 49, excuse me, not that one, 49.2 cents per pound cost savings. And so it looks like this could really be valuable, especially if you plan on having a lot of this meat that you sell.